hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is roxy for those of you who are new today we're going to be styling this side part bob lace frontal wig and this wig is from rpg show today we're working with a transparent swiss lace shaded in medium brown it comes with a nice strap in the back that's adjustable for a snug fit and it also can be worn as a glueless lace front to customize the wig, I did bleach the knots and the knots were super easy to bleach because they were nice and fine, like some of the smallest knots I've ever seen. So I really love the lace quality for sure. I also want to show you guys how nice and deep the parting goes. This is more than a four inches, this is definitely about six inches in parting. And look how nice and scalpy that looks. I think it has to do with, of course, the bleaching as well, but how fine the knots were and it made it so much easier to bleach. Okay, so we're going to go on to the styling of the unit. I'm going in with my Stush Sleek Stick and I'm using that in combination with my hot comb. And I do this for each unit. This definitely helps for a flatter melt and it also helps to keep the hair away from my face so that I can see everything that's going on when I'm trying to set and mold and melt the unit. I really want you guys to take in how natural the hairline is looking. It's super light it's super blendable and it definitely has to do with the quality of the lace i haven't worked with a lace like this in such a long time and i'm here showing off the scalp again and the deep part i'm actually amazed as i'm styling it i'm just thinking about how natural the unit is going to look once i'm finished so i'm using the clips to put my hair back and now i'm just cutting away at the lace Taking how natural that looks, this is like one of those, this is one of those times when you mention the comment, what lace? And I can definitely see how this is a glueless lace because you don't need to use glue in order for it to melt and look super realistic. To adhere the wig today, I'm going to be using some got to be free spray. I was going to glue it, but I decided not to because the cap size was a cap size one it was a little bit snug for me so in the future i would get a cap size two so if i do decide to glue the hair i won't get all the glue on my actual hairline so in this case i decided to use the got to be free spray and it worked out well So to secure it and make sure everything is dry and set, I'm just going in with my Stush Elastic Band. And this is one of the major keys to getting like a flat melt and a nice sleek install. So while the Elastic Band is on, I'm just going in with the flat iron to pretty much style the unit. I knew that I didn't want it to be super straight. I kind of wanted to give it a style. So I did take my time and play with it and curled, curl the unit. I started off with kind of over curling it, but after a while I realized that I didn't want that over curled look. So after curling it and realizing I didn't like it, I tried my best to really comb it out and to kind of loosen it a bit. So I wasn't really feeling that over curled look. I was kind of feeling like, it was aging me so I took my time to kind of comb it out and loosen it a bit I even took my flat iron to kind of straighten it out a bit but I did work with it until I achieved my final look I must say that the hair was so was very nice and silky it was easy to style easy to manipulate it was very flowy and bouncy um, it was just Overall, you can tell the unit was a really good quality. So overall, with the length of the unit, the quality of the lace, the deepness of the part, it was kind of giving me like that fresh relaxer kind of look when you go to the stylist and you get your hair blown out, flat ironed, 
and styled and then you just have that nice bouncy healthy hair kind of look that's the kind of vibe it was giving me the hair the hairstyle was looking super cute i was really loving it especially after i really combed out the tight curls that i had initially created i did go ahead and take off some of the sideburns i noticed i left it a bit longer for a period of time and i also want to go back and focus on the deep part and the scalp even when i'm cold even while i'm raking the comb through my hair you can kind of see the scalp through the hair and it looks so realistic so natural the hair is super bouncy i didn't need any baby hairs because it was giving me such a nice realistic look i didn't need the baby hairs to camouflage any parts of the lace it was looking really nice let me know what you guys think about this unit would you try this unit um, have you ever tried a transparent Swiss lace with such a nice deep part like this? Um, check out the description box below. I'm going to leave the information to this unit so that you guys can try this for yourself. Shout out to RPG Show Lifestyle for sponsoring this video. I'm feeling super classy, cute, natural. It's almost giving me like what lace kind of vibe. So let me know what you guys think about this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.